So, it's official. Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan have officially been charged with and human trafficking, and it now has to go to trial. It has been stated it may last to several years before he is charged. The entire world is currently talking about it, so we'll check out all the different reactions. Make sure to stick around till the end for the full details. It has also come out that the DIICOT is taking all of his possessions since the charge, and it's a hefty amount to say the least. The DIICOT also noted in the indictment to confiscate over 380 million US dollars from the Tate brothers in cryptocurrency, 15 luxury cars, 14 luxury watches, 15 lands of buildings. To which Andrew Tate replied with, I'm sure this case has absolutely nothing to do with stealing my wealth. He has made it clear about his wealth in the past, but having over 380 million taken off you has gotta hurt. Since his interview on BBC a few weeks Weeks back, it does seem the majority of people online are siding more with him as no one has even been named in the case thus far. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Since the news that Andrew has officially been charged, there's a mixed reaction online. Many people think that justice is finally being served and that he deserves to be locked up. Whereas others think foul play is going on in the Romanian justice system and that there's no cause for the charge due to the limited amount of evidence which has been put forward. Mixed posts like, Andrew and Tristan Tate charged. After more than 14 months of investigation, the judiciary has charged Andrew Tate with and human trafficking. This case appears to be remarkably weak, and it was evident that charges would be brought against them. They have been held in custody for six months without any charges, and only due to this prolonged detention were the authorities compelled to press charges. The evidence is weak. This situation is a politically motivated attack. I hate Andrew Tate as much as anyone, but the way the Romanian authorities are going after him is a very concerning attack on freedom and will have a chilling effect on anyone trying to set up a sex trafficking ring in Romania. I swear when I've tweeted about this guy in the past, I've had some absolute weapons defend him in the replies. Let me make this perfectly clear. If you defend Andrew Tate and what he stands for, you're a complete scumbag, and I beg you unfollow me right away. Cheers. The fact the trial could take several years to conclude shows the extent of this case. Either the lack of evidence so far or just the public outrage by the final result once concluded could be the main reason. Before it gets officially taken to trial, a Romanian judge gets up to 60 days to go through the case files to decide if it does get taken to trial, which most likely it will. The seizing of over 300 million US dollars is most likely another incentive. Speaking for the brothers and the two partners, a representative of Andrew Tate said, we embrace the opportunity it presents to demonstrate their innocence. Throughout the entire arrest and ongoing case, all the focus has been on Andrew Tate, and some may not even know that his brother Tristan was involved in it all. Well, in response to the recent charges and him and his brother's name, he posted out, in nine days, the maximum period to legally hold me without charges expires. Charges. Good. Until now, I've not been allowed to discuss what the evidence against me is. I've been muzzled under the instruction that I could disrupt the investigation. Finally, I can talk. How do you guys honestly see this case unfolding? Do you think the Tate brothers are guilty and will face some serious jail time? Or is there foul play going on with the Romanian justice system and they're just looking for their money? In this case, $380 million it appears. Considering the magnitude of these charges, it's unlikely he will be let off house arrest for the coming years until the trial is concluded meaning he'll calculate the interviews he does going forward. The most recent one he did was on the PBD podcast, which has amounted to an insane 12 million views in just seven days, and people loved it, with many comments like, I watched the full podcast over four and a half hours, and I didn't lose interest once or find any part of it boring. PBD definitely has one of the best channels there is. And Tate has a massive amount of common sense to talk about that most decent, normal people should agree with. Amazing job, PBD. Tate is such an inspiration. Four hours and 30 minutes and it still felt short. I could listen to him talk all day. Everything Andrew says carries such weight and value to the audience. Truly exceptional. 
Thank you, PBD, for this genuine and informative interview. The complete split in online opinion regarding the Tate brothers, mainly Andrew, is interesting to see because once the trial begins, which is assumed to happen, the evidence they have will be majorly damaging by then. We've seen in the past the likes of Joe Rogan and Jordan Peterson seemingly embrace Andrew Tate since his arrest, although their opinions will most certainly change if the charges go through and he's found guilty. One person who will be relieved is Logan Paul, as they both had a feud for a while now. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.